Hey everybody, it's Lena from Just a Little Bit Country. Well, my plans got changed. I didn't get to go to Texas this weekend like I planned. I am down in my hip. And I don't know what I've done. I don't know if I got out of bed wrong, slept on it wrong, pinched a nerve. I don't know what I did. But anyway, my hip is so bad that it's hard to get in bed. It's hard to lay in the bed. It's hard to get up and walk to the toilet. It's hard to walk anywhere. Even sitting in my wheelchair is hard to do. I tried to ride in the car the other day. Well, a couple of days ago, we went someplace in the car, and I was very uncomfortable. And then last night, I tried to ride in my son's car, and that was on a truck, and that was very uncomfortable. So at first, I was saying, you know, I'm just going to crawl in the back seat. We'll make a bed for me in the back seat, and I'm going to Texas, even if I have to sleep all the way there in the back seat. Oh, I'm so uncomfortable. There's no point of going if I'm uncomfortable and can't sit in the damn seat the correct way and go visit with my kids. So, I uh, had to back out of going this weekend. I'm getting tired of my plans getting changed, but anywho. So, my husband had to go grocery shopping this morning and I couldn't go because I can't ride in the car, can't sit in the seat. My hip just hurting like really, really bad. And uh, I'm up for a few minutes because... Well, I was on the heating pad most of the night last night, and that felt really good, and I feel a tad bit better. I'm trying to stay off my legs. See, also, you know, I had that knee surgery in my left leg, and I haven't had it in my right, and I know that I've put a lot of pressure on my left leg for the stability because I don't have any stability in the right one. So now I'm wondering if I've screwed up my hips because I've put too much pressure on that side of my body. I don't know. But anyway, my husband did the grocery shopping today, and I'm just going to walk around to the kitchen and show you what he picked up for me. He bought me some Asper cream. He said, honey, this might help your, your, your pain. So he bought me some Asper cream, numbs away pain, roll-on stuff. I don't know how much it was because, like I said, I didn't go with him. But he bought me that. And, um... He bought two of these. I already drank mine. These uh, Naked Green Machine packed with vitamin C flavored blend of five juices. It has uh, apples, mango, pineapple, banana, kiwi, spirulina, alfalfa, broccoli, spinach, barley grass, wheat grass, ginger, parsley, kale, and garlic. I love this Green Machine one. It's so good. Anyway, I told you to buy two of them. He bought one for me and one for him. Um, he did go to the Dollar Tree for me, and they were completely out of the risen, so I don't have anything from there to show you. We're going to go up the Dark Mile, or the Green Mile, as I call it, and I'll show you what he bought. So that's all I can do. I did help him throw the bags away, but that's all I can do for him today. Daisy, you don't need to do all that. I'm just talking and walking. Oh, my God. She's going to get her toenails clipped when my daughter gets home. He bought a box of the Nestle Rich Milk Chocolate Cocoa. He got me some bananas. I've had two already. Get down! Hey, you don't belong up there. Get down. So, he bought a thing of the hamburger patties, and there's uh, two things of pork chops down there, and he bought these uh, chicken leg quarters, and some more bread. Oh. Uh, he bought me oh. He bought me a thing of the twin pack hamburger helper double cheeseburger macaroni. 
And another thing of potatoes, as you see up there. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Another sack of potatoes. He bought a Supreme Pizza. And there's two more packages of uh, eye round thin and big chops. Can you shut up? Please. God. Some chicken tenders. Some burritos. Uh, these jalapeno cheddar smoked sausages. And some better cheddar smoked sausages. Because I like them. He bought some, uh, I said burritos right there. And he bought another one of these, uh, ooh, Asiago peppercorn, uh, pork loins. The last one we had was a garlic one. It was really good, too. Out of the way. And I was, uh, out of milk. So he bought, um, another gallon of milk. And um, he bought me another gallon of tea because I was out of that. And he got my daughter a salad, a Caesar salad. And let's see. He got some ham and cheese loaf. Um, he got some uh, Great Value Singles White American Cheese. He bought a thing of... Um, Dill pickles. Ow. And he bought two cans of the uh, Blecky Jumbo Biscuits. And he got me my bottle of uh, coffee creamer hazel hazelnut for me and Bree because this is what we like. And I think that's all there is. Why are you barking? Why are you barking like a crazy person? Why? You're going to get your toenails clipped when Sissy gets home. Yes, you are. What do you want? What do you want, bozo? What are you barking at me for? There's nothing in here for you to have, no. You should learn to eat what's put down for you when you get your supper. Yes, you should. Move out of the way. She's just going to bark because she's crazy. She's just going to bark because she's insane. That one needs to go out and go potty. Wolfie does. You've already been out. Oh, get down, Gracie. Get down, Gracie. Mom, we ain't got nothing. Get down, Gracie. I'm going to go this way. She's going to bark the whole way there. Aren't you, Miss Daisy? I'm coming, Ava. Slowly but surely. I'm coming, Mama. I'm coming. You're going to have to move your toy so I can get in the room. Can you move your toy? Move your toy. Get your toy. Thank you. Get your toy. I'm not playing. Get your toy out of the way. Pick it up so I don't run over it and crap. Now, see? You put it under my wheel. Stop. Goober. Bobby Joe, I got your box ready to go out for our mystery unbagging that the two of us are doing. There's my big box ready to go out to you. And yes, I crammed it full. I didn't think it was going to fit because I took it out of that box. And I put it in that box. But it fit. So, your box is ready to go. And most of the stuff is wrapped. And it's all got numbers on it. Anyway. Oh, and um, he did get me some tuna too. He got me two cans of the Star Kiss solid yellowfin tuna with roasted garlic and extra virgin olive oil. I had never seen that before. It was so good. Yes, I ate some right in here. <laughs> but anyway. Ooh. Uh, that's the heating pad I've been on all night long. And that's my barking mutt, as you can hear her bark. She's just going to bark her silly stuff to death. And that right there is a Julia, Julia Nutting card made with Julia Nutting rubber stamps. Anyway, that's the end of this video, or will be shortly. I need to put that up. When my daughter gets home from school, we're going to use these 
nail clipper thingies that I got from Tamu. And Daisy's going to get her toenails clipped because she needs it really bad. Anywho, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel. Uh, share us if you can and get us seen out there. Um, hit that bell for more videos. And subscribe if you have not. Uh, when we reach 300 subscribers, we are going to do a contest. So, um, we did a contest at 50, and people got mystery bags. And, uh, oh, excuse me. Yeah, we did, we did a contest at 50, and um, I gave away two Amazon gift cards. We did another contest at 100, and I gave away uh, mystery bags. And I think uh, four people got mystery bags. Well, only three, because only three people played. So three people got mystery bags. And we just finished up a contest where I gave away an Amazon gift card, a Dollar Tree gift card, a mystery bag. And for whoever else participated, they got a, a bag of stickers. So we're doing another one at 300 subscribers. And we're at 158 right now. So, please subscribe. <laughs> it's just my way of thanking my subscribers. And things that could be in your mystery boxes could be things that I get from the liquidation centers and the bins and Tamu or things I've made for you. Because as you know, I make polymer clay and risen jewelry. And there's me some risen kitty cats up there. I'm always popping something out. Woohoo! Anywho, uh... Like I said, if you like the video, do all those mentionable things that I said already. Anyway, have a great day. Bye.